So we will uh, see the role based demo of automation HQ. Now first role is a tester or a test automation person who is developing the scripts. Uh, in a small companies it may be outsourced so it may be a freelancer or in a, a larger organization it can be a offshore team uh, who can do the automation. Now uh, the, typically the task for the test automation guys are uh, they record the page objects and they create the scripts and they create the data tables and then they debug the script and that way like they make sure that script is working and then uh, if it's a in sprint development they develop the script within the sprint uh, if it's a maintenance required then they uh, re review the rep uh, script that needs to be repaired and then repair it those are the typical activities and it requires a huge amount of time uh, for the traditional test automation because everything requires programming, everything requires high skill resources. So uh, it's always a long lead time uh, item even though it's automation. The only benefit of automation is uh, subsequent running might be faster than the manual uh, testing. Otherwise, uh, the initial work is even more than the manual testing. While in Automation HQ, everything is streamlined to make it a uh, minimum effort and instead of a days, we can make it in the minute. So, first thing is recording the page object. So, in the element library, we will be providing a utility where you can click the utility and then it can scrap all the uh, elements and locator and you can create the page uh, out of it so instead of a days to record the object you can do it in a minute but meanwhile we are providing the uh, capability to add the manual locators so you can create the pages and add the locators uh, by its ID or by its X path or a class uh, whatever is available so that way you can maintain all the library at one place now creating a script is also very easy you can uh, create your epics and story as per your project and then for creating a script you just need to drag and drop from all the uh, ready-made test apps available and these are the capabilities we are enhancing every day uh, it can you can uh, see the snippet of uh, verification to entering a data to click uh, some ac uh, actions so all kind of uh, ready-made uh, steps are available you just need to drag and drop and that's all the user has to do to create a script so creating a script uh, time also shortened from days or weeks to a uh, few minutes to a couple of hours now in order for uh, creating a test data um, we provided an inbuilt test data capability so users just have to type the test uh, data and then the column is available for uh, entering the test data they can enter as many rows as they want and then the script will run uh, on this data one by one so that way if you have a 20 login IDs then uh, you don't have to create 20 script it will you can create one script and uh, 20 data can be supplied so that capability is also there so that again shorten a huge amount of time and then we will be providing a import facility where you can import the CSV or XML uh, data so that way you can integrate uh, from uh, other system as well now debugging a script is also easy uh, in a traditional test automation it's a huge uh, amount of time goes into debugging and checking the log in uh, AHQ case you just have to click that uh, button and then uh, you run it that's pretty much it and it will uh, pop up uh, the browser in a local machine and it starts running the script step by steps see in this case the step uh, 5 is failing because uh, and we provided very easy logging mechanism rather than the cryptic messages so you just see the uh, expectation was uh, the listing of a file while the actual will provide the hyperlink over here but right now we can see that uh, it's actually not the uh, expected result so when we see the actual result instead of a listing of a file there is an error message so that's why it's uh, failing so debugging is straightforward again repairing is the similar item like you know when you are running the script on your release or a test port and it, if it's failing you just come uh, you just switch to the repair and then the tester will come back and then they see that you know there are script needs to be corrected so they they can just go to the filter mechanism and then they see the status by repair 
and then whatever is the script that needs a repair they can just go there and then repair the script and then uh, switch the status the second role uh, is uh, a test lead role um, who typically does the grouping of a test shoots create the test shoots for a different purpose and then run those test shoots on a different environment uh, and then you know review the result and then provide the update to the executives that uh, what's the status of uh, uh, quality as well as why uh, many things are failing this role uh, requires a lot of uh, coordination from the test developers in traditional automation but here we um, provided the easy way for this role as well so for creating a test suite is easy as uh, you know creating uh, or adding a test suite and then selecting the test scripts that are available and then you can save it and that's it like you know you can create the test suite out of that um, once you create the test suite you need to run it on a particular environment and particular um, browsers or a mobile so that is also easily available over here we can select the uh, test shoots and then you know we can select the parameters uh, whether it's on a particular browser or a particular mobile device you want to run and then you know particular grid you want it to run so those are the configuration we can do in a test board and once you create this test board we will be providing the schedule capability so you can schedule it to run it on a daily basis or you can run it on an ad hoc basis and once you run it you see the result over here where the uh, the result analysis can be done so when you see the result you see the pass and fail and then if it's a fail then you know you can drill down to the reason why it's a fail so that's very easy mechanism we provided for this role as well uh, now in terms of repair let's say uh, this test uh, shoot is fail uh, and then they wanted to make sure that you know this can be repaired so they can just go to this test script by edit script and then change the status to repair and that way uh, the tester who is like you know um, either third party or like you know the test automation guys or a, a BA on the pro program can just go to the uh, repair uh, test case test scripts and then you know debug it and then uh, make it a repair so that way communication uh, will be very easy within the tool itself or a framework itself so that you know you don't need a separate emails or other communication methods the third role is uh, executives on a, a QA department or if it's a delivery lead so they w typically wanted to know the overall picture and progress of the test uh, how it's doing so that's why we provided the analytics where uh, a user can come and see the progress of a particular test board or in a uh, future will be providing by the release dashboard so that you can uh, the user can review um, or the, as a snapshot of a last run result as well as some of the trend charts like you know how it was doing in a past build and then how it's doing in a current build so that way all the uh, test result is centralized not only by the um, by the test board um, but will be providing a, a, a strategic dashboard to combine the project so you can see the over if you if your corporation has a 20 30 40 projects going on simultaneously you can see the overall dashboard so a very bird eye strategic view as well as you can see the cost saving um, from the automation so those are the uh, dashboards that's coming up um, but the idea is that this uh, is all information is centralized rather than having a desperate system and then you know import export of a information and then try to create a dashboard we provide everything within a one uh, automation HQ platform um, the the role of a QA manager uh, may be a little bit detail oriented which requires some more drill down into um, fail cases uh, so suppose uh, a test manager comes here and they see their particular project has some failures they wanted to drill down they can click here and then that way they can drill down to the test results and then within the test result they can nail down to the problem area and then 
they can understand what exactly is the problem whether it's a uh, application defect or a, um, a strip a script uh, need to be corrected corrected so those are the capabilities available uh, test result by feature is also available suppose I use uh, QA manager wanted to know that uh, how my applications components are uh, doing um, based on the um, current run so that that can be also shown in the uh, graph um, the new uh, test script run can also be seen based on the comparison of a, a past and a current result uh, so so many other questions can be answered from this analytics dashboard and then the drill down uh, from that we have a subscriber role as well so typically uh, uh, there uh, in a large uh, organization um, there are separate uh, admins who admin and control the access of uh, information uh, so we have that uh, role as well who, who controls the project like uh, who can access the project and what level so we have a different uh, criteria of uh, users uh, who has a uh, limited access and full access as well so and then uh, if the user um, is uh, uh, gone from the company or gone from the project then they can easily disable it rather than going through a lot of uh, um, admin work they can just uh, have a switch over, they, they just have a switch over here they can disable it and then the user um, is totally disabled from the application